When I first got my hands on the tile, which costs about 120 Canadian dollars, I immediately went out and bought myself a budget keyfinder, which I got for a quarter of the price at just $30, just so I could compare the two and see which one of these is actually the better product. I've spent a few weeks with both, and my answer might just surprise you. Hey everyone, this is Aim Sticky from Zeus Reviews, and this is the Tile Combo Pack versus the Budget Keyfinder. So we'll start with the Budget Keyfinder first, and as you can see, the packaging is clean, it's pretty straightforward. At the front, you have a picture of the product itself, and around the back, you have a picture of all the things you could possibly connect your receivers to. This includes your iPod, because obviously you still have that, glasses case, TV remote, keys, walking stick, handbag, lighter, and your wallet. But this one is a lie because, well, we'll get to that in a second, but that one doesn't work. And that is the packaging. Inside the box, you get four receivers and their batteries. You get the remote control and a battery. You get a bunch of key rings and double-sided stickers so you can connect the receivers to your keys or your walking stick or glasses case or whatever. So that's a nice touch. And you also get the user manual explaining how you can actually use the product. So we'll start off by having a look at the remote control, which is something that you don't get with the tile. Now this remote control is pretty straightforward and it does look decent, but it is very, very plasticky very lightweight and it does feel cheap. But remember you're getting this plus all of this for less than $30 so keep that in mind. At the front you have four color coded buttons which correspond to the receivers and the buttons offer excellent tactile feedback and a decent amount of travel. They are very very clicky so that's great. At the top you'll notice that there is also an LED light and there's also an LED light on each of the four receivers so this is a nice touch because it easily shows you when your battery is dead. Let me just focus, there we go. So for example, if I'm pressing the green button and the remote LED does not work, that means the battery for the remote is dead. If I'm pressing the green LED and the green LED does not light up, that means that the battery for the receiver is dead. And it's a nice and simple way to figure out which one of your devices isn't working. At the back you have the battery compartment which you can just slide off revealing the battery, I've already attached it inside, and the good thing is it is a CR2032 battery, and this is easily available, you can get it from Amazon, or you can get it from your local electronics store. Plus the battery is removable, which is something that the tile does not have. Also it is the same battery for the remote control and each of the four receivers, so you can actually buy it in bulk and then just save money, which is a nice touch. So I will now put a battery in the green receiver, actually no, purple is a nice color, we'll do purple. So you can actually open the receiver up at the back using the battery itself, I'm going to be using a coin, I think it's easier, so just like that, and then it just falls out, revealing the battery compartment, and again it's the same CR2032 battery, pop that in like so, and then you can close it again using the coin, it'll click in place when it's done, like so. The receiver continues that cheap feeling you found with the remote. It is very very lightweight and plasticky, and I feel like there is a lot of extra room in here because it is very very thick. It's about as thick as six 25 cent coins stacked, and that makes it an issue when you want to put this in your wallet. It just doesn't fit and it adds way too much bulk. Apart from that, at the back you have a single hole for the speaker, which is quite loud. Um, even if it is easy to muffle and cover up, it is surprisingly loud. I'm going to press the button on the remote and you should see the LED hair flash and the LED on the receiver flash as well. So, here we go. And now I'm going to cover up the speaker and show you how loud that is. So you can tell that it is quite a loudspeaker even when it is covered up. But overall, for this product, in terms of build quality and design, you can immediately tell that this is a very, very cheap and plasticky product. 
unlike the tile which has a premium build. So let's have a look at the tile next. So this is the tile combo pack which gives you four tiles just like the budget keyfinder did. This is available for $120 on Amazon compared to the budget keyfinder which is available for just 30 a little less than 30 actually. So inside this box which actually looks like a tile itself which is a nice touch and it has the same grey and white design scheme as the tiles. Inside this box you have your paperwork which I'll have a look at first. So you have your user manual, regulatory statements and the warranty. Put that to the side and you have your four tiles. So for this you get two tile mates which are the smaller but thicker um, key rings. And you have the two tile slims, which are much, much larger, but also much, much thinner, about as thin as two credit cards. So we'll have a look at the tile slims first. And as you can see, the tiles all share a similar design. They have the tile logo in the center, which also doubles as a button. And it's a pretty clicky button. It's a very nice button. And it is very, very thin. This is about as thick as two credit cards. And now compare that to this fat guy right here and you can immediately tell which one of these is going to fit in your wallet. Hint, it's not the fat guy. So this is the tile slim, very very slim as the name suggests. And then you have the tile mate which is the smaller but much thicker one of the two. And now one tile mate is about as thick as one and a half tile slim so it's not too thick and it's considerably thinner than the much faster fat guy on the right here. Again, this won't fit in your wallet, this will. So you can also use this as a keyring, it has a dedicated hole as well as the other one. But the interesting thing to note here is that $120 will buy you nothing but four tiles. You don't get any adhesives or keyrings like you did with the budget key finder. In fact, if you look at the packaging for the tile, you will see on the bottom left here that adhesives are sold separately, which is kind of annoying considering you're paying $120. You're paying four times as much as a budget key finder and you don't get any adhesives or key rings. You'll notice that the tiles did not come with a receiver and that is because you have to use these with your phone. They pair via Bluetooth to your Android or iOS device and you have to download the app from the Google Play Store or the App Store and this is what it looks like. So that is the Tile app from the Google Play Store installed on my OnePlus 2. I'm just going to open it up and show you what the Tile app looks like. They show you a video explaining how you can actually pair the Tile to your phone and the different ways you can use it. I've already made an account so I'm just going to log in. Okay, so I have now logged into the app and you can see that my tile is showing on the app here as well as my phone. And I'm just going to give it a quick ring to show you how loud the actual tile is. There we go. So basically your phone will start vibrating as well and your tile will not stop until you actually find it. And if you find the ringtone annoying, then you can change it. But the only problem is all of the other options, let me just go to the details here and change the ringtone. All of the other ringtones are just annoyingly cheerful. So you've got classic call, pep in your step, blues for slim, let's try that. So you can change the ringtone and the tile will continue to ring until you find it on your phone. So if anything, the more annoying the sound, the higher the chance that you're going to find it just so you can shut it up. So I've put my key uh, right, put the ringtone in and let's ring it. Yeah, so Let's have a look at the tile itself. As I mentioned before, at the front you have the tile logo which doubles as a button. So when you're actually turning this on for the first time, you press the button, it'll emit a little ringtone and then you can pair it with your phone. Now I've put my phone on silent, so you can see the ringer there is dead silent. And my alarm volume and everything is at the lowest setting, so I'm just going to put that there. No interruptions, everything's off, so I'm going to pop that 
to the side. And one of the benefits of this tile is that uh, you can double press that button, which I'm going to do right now, and it will ring your phone and it'll make it vibrate like there's no tomorrow. So let's do that. And you get a little notification there as well, tile. So the second you turn your phone on, it'll stop but it is quite loud and it's a nice feature to have if you don't remember where you put your phone so if you got a tile you can find your phone if you got your phone you can find your tile it works both ways and that's a really really nice feature at the back you have a single hole for the speaker just like you did with the budget key finder and it is fairly loud um, just a bit quieter than the budget key finder although that is to be expected considering how thin these little devices are compared to the budget key finders I also quite like the dual tone design scheme, it's very sleek, very professional, and overall build quality is great. You can see that the tile does not have a removable or replaceable battery, there's no way you can change that. From the moment you press that button and turn it on, your battery will last for one year exactly as mentioned on the paperwork here, so one year, non-replaceable battery. This will last for one year exactly, and then when it dies, you are forced to buy a brand new tile. Uh, you do get a tile customer discount, but they never mention on the website or anywhere a uh, specific dollar value, so you don't know how much that customer discount is actually going to cost you. And as a consumer, I feel that this is a bit of a ripoff because you have to buy a brand new tile, or if you bought the combo pack, I'm assuming you're using all four of these. So you will have to buy four brand new tiles every single year, unlike the budget key finder which uses an easily available and easily removable battery which is great. However, one of the benefits of having a non-removable battery is that the tile is able to seal it up really really well. So this is water resistant, it has an IP5 rating I believe which means that it can get fairly wet uh, but it will not work underwater compared to the budget key finder this has absolutely no waterproofing or water resistance at all if it gets wet it will just not work so in terms of build quality and design it's clear then that the tile is the obvious winner it just feels like a premium product right from the packaging to the $120 price tag but in terms of real world usage that's where it gets really interesting one main problem with the budget key finder is the idea of a remote control because if you look at the attachment here this is clearly meant to be attached to your keys or your key ring and if the whole point of a key finder is to find your keys if you lose them then what would be the point of attaching it to your keys i can see its value if it were left at home for example if you have um, memory issues or if you've got alzheimer's and you can connect these to your walking stick or your remote control or anything and you just leave this on the mantelpiece or um, somewhere easily accessible and it's always in the same place then if you lose any one of your items you can go there and just press this to find that item find the item and put this back in its proper place but for the people who are using this um, when they're out and about maybe they're at the job or just going for coffee having this attached to your keys seems kind of Pointless. If you lose the remote, then all of your receivers are entirely useless because you will not be able to use them without the remote control. The main advantage the tile has over its budget counterpart is the tile community. And how that works is basically every single tile app on anyone's phone is constantly searching for other tiles. And every time it'll locate another tile, it'll update that tile's location and post it online. So if there are other tile users in my area, and they see my tile, they'll post its location online. And assuming, let's say, I left it at a restaurant, and I'm no longer in Bluetooth range with my tile, I'll go home and I'll remember that I can't find my tile. Someone else who comes within range of my lost tile will see it on their app, and it'll automatically post its location online. I'm at home and I can check the where was it last seen feature on my tile and see where it is. Eventually, as more and more users update the location of my tile, I'll be able to find it. So it is a really, really nice idea. It's sort of like a huge lost and found thing. But the only problem is that feature is entirely dependent on how many tile users live in your area. 
There aren't that many users in my area, so that feature is not really useful for me. If I lose something, I can't rely on the community to help me find it. I've mentioned how fat these receivers are quite a fair few times, so let's have a look at that. I have a wallet here, and I'm just going to pop the receiver in here. And you can immediately see that it's just bulging it out. It's just impractical for anything which isn't a keyring or a purse. Again, you can see making my wallet really thick, and my wallet is empty, I mean there's nothing in here. No cards, no coins, nothing. No notes, empty. Apart from this little key finder which is adding unnecessary amount of bulk. If I compare it to the Tile Mate, which is the thicker version of the Tile, you can see it does add a bit of bulk but not as much as the fat budget receivers. And if I compare it to the Tile um, Slim, which is a th as thick as two credit cards, you can see no extra weight, no bulging, nothing. It is obviously larger so it's going to stick out and if that bothers you, you could just use the Tile Mate. But you can see there's no extra bulkiness. Both of these devices have their pros and cons. With the Tile you have premium build quality and a premium looking design, plus it is ridiculously thin compared to the fat budget key finder. This also has a non-removal battery which gives it some water resistance, but also means that when the battery dies you're going to have to buy a brand new tile every single year, and you're going to have to do that four times if you use all four tiles. Budget key finders on the other hand have no water resistance, but they do have removable batteries which you can buy in bulk and get pretty much anywhere, so you do get the benefit of that. And the main difference between the two is the price. Budget key finder is $30. The tile combo pack on the other hand is $120. So you could get 16 receivers, 4 remote controls, a buttload of double sided stickers and key rings for the price of one tile combo pack. So the main question here is what are you buying for $120? And the answer to that is the tile community. The Tile is a fantastic product if you have the support of the Tile community. If there are a lot of Tile users in your area, you can make the most of the Tile Mate and the Tile Slim. But if you take the Tile community away, then there isn't really all that much which separates a Tile from its budget counterpart. If you live in an area where there aren't that many Tile users, then I can't really recommend buying a Tile. It would be much, much easier and probably better if you stick with the budget key finder. It does the job equally well, if not better, because the speakers are just a bit louder than they are on the tile, and you have the added benefit of removable batteries.